Hey guys, this is Paul, um, and you've probably just watched the WWDC event where iOS 15 was announced for the very first time. So this is now gonna be the developer beta that people are gonna show you. And we're gonna have a look at our first look, I suppose, of the iOS 15 developer beta. But remember, if you are gonna try and put this on your main phone, then maybe don't, because there's gonna be so many bugs with it. So if you can, just get hold of a spare phone. So I'm using it on the iPhone 10. Don't use it on your main phone because it might just ruin it forever and then you will complain and be sad. This isn't gonna be a deep dive into iOS 15. This is just gonna be showing you what Apple announced at that WWDC event. Um, so if you wanna see a deep dive, then why not subscribe to the channel? Because that would be, that would be great. Before we start though, let's have a look at what devices are actually supported by this new iOS 15. So you can see it starts all the way from the iPod Touch seventh generation. You have the iPhone SE first and second generation, and you also have the iPhone 6S, which we thought you wouldn't get. So we thought the iPhone 6S would be dead, but six years later, we are still getting those updates. So then you've got the iPhone 7s, 8s, the 10, the 10R, the 10S Max, the iPhone 11s, and the iPhone 12s as well. So those phones are all capable of upgrading to iOS 15 when it comes out properly in the fall. But let's go ahead and have a look at this iOS 15 in action. The first thing you notice though, when you have iOS 15 installed, that you get this, this little hello welcome screen, which you get on those M1 iMacs. So that is a really nice little touch that you start off with when you have it open. But this is it, so iOS 15.0, the first version of iOS 15. So on the face of it, not a huge bit of updated software from iOS 15. There is no big redesign or anything this time round, but what were the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna have a look at what the screen wallpapers are, or just the wallpapers as they're usually known as on the phones. So we're gonna have a look at wallpapers and see what the new iOS 15 wallpapers look like. And here, here they are. So these are some of the ones that you can get. So this is the light mode and dark mode version. So we'll set that up straight away. You can download these from Twitter as well. If you just search it, then you can have a look. Um, and one of the big things that they changed on the iPhone now was that for me, I wanted this change for quite a while and it is that Siri is local. So if you turn off all sorts of Wi-Fi and everything like that, and we'll turn off Bluetooth as well, just for the sake of it. But at the moment, this doesn't seem to work yet on this developer beta. So the idea was it wouldn't have to go online and you could just say to things like open photos and it would open it up. But you can see that it says that the phone's not connected to the internet yet. So you still need it to be connected to the internet to do that. So we'll have to put that back on. But when you go onto the control center here, you can actually see a few things. So you can see this focus tab here. And this was something that Apple were really focused on ironically, and it's just a new feature, which means that you can put on things like do not disturb, you can set work times as well, so you can decide who can contact you when you're working and who can't contact you. Um, so these are new things that you can add here, you can add a contact, so if you went into here, you could add, for example, someone that I worked with, if we put um, a friend here, we can do done there, and that means that once you are working, that means then you can add an app, Let's say, for example, if they were gonna message you through iMessages, you click done, you allow one app, and then that means that they can then message you at a certain time, so you can put on the time there, and that would be fine for that. So you have that one in there as well. When you go back in and you have a look at focus again, do not disturb, which on the lock screen, you can see a new little symbol there, just for the do not disturb option, which I think is really quite nice. So that's something a little bit like the Apple Watch complications, um, which we've had people do the renders for over the past couple of years of things like this. So you have that there as well. We also have improvements to iMessages now. So you've got this shared with you. So content that is shared in messages can appear in different sort of apps. So if someone shares with you a song, for example, that can then appear in your Apple Music. The same for things like news and photos as well. We'll have a little look at what that looks like in just a second. So let's try and send a message over. Let's say I wanted to send over a few different photos from the one here, so we'll hide that there. Let's select a few of these photos which we can send over. That's it, we'll send them over to here, which should then mean that over on this phone, even though the Do Not Disturb is on, swipe up, have a look at that, 
and that is where you can have a look at the new photos. So you can swipe across here in that almost stacks type of thing, which is really nice. And if you want to, you can click on the all six photos and that shows you them all in one place, which is really nice. So you can double tap on one of them and you can say, great, haha, <laughs> that's fantastic. So that's what that looks like when you are sending over something there. There you're heading over to FaceTime as well, gives you this new sort of outlook on FaceTime. So one of the big things was that you can now create a link so people on other devices can actually get to you. So you can now use FaceTime on both Windows and you can use it on Android phones as well in the browser. So you can send links to get that over, which actually is really a nice little thing. And of course, you can do a new FaceTime. So if you wanted to FaceTime, let's say, me for example we could facetime me you can see there's a little bit of a difference there now on facetime it just looks a little bit different um so not a huge difference on the facetime there but you can also add more people into the call so if you have more than one person of course you can do that grid view on iMessage so that makes it a little bit easier you can also now as well share things so this is called share play so share play means that if you want to watch a film with somebody then you can do that through uh, facetime now as well so basically what it'll do is that you can see the other person, they can see you, and you can be watching something together on Apple TV or on any of the other apps. So it wasn't just Apple TV that you can do this through, which would be really interesting. You can also on here now do portrait mode as well through the FaceTime camera, but I've not got that to work just yet, but that is something that I'm sure that they will add in as you go on, because remember this is only the first developer beta, so not everything will work in here straight away. Spotlight now works a little bit differently, so you can search people in Spotlight as well. So if you wanted to search for uh, Billie Eilish, for example, you can click on Billie Eilish there, and it will give you a little bit more information on your search bar and it's a little bit more like spotlight on the max than anything else so you can go straight to the social media there you can have a look at some other stuff that is on that as well so the spotlight is now working a little bit better than it ever has done before on any of the other ios's there's a new memories feature as well inside the apple photos app which i will turn these this volume down but it will pick a song that it thinks is right for you. And remember, you can just swipe back on things here. You can pause it, you can go forward on things. And what it'll do is you can have a look at pretty much all the photos it's gonna show you. But once you're inside here, it will pick a song that it thinks is right for you. So for example, from Apple Music, it has picked something called Tire Swing by Gabrielle Witcher. Never heard of her, but that's the music that it's picked because it thinks it goes well with this. And you can go back and you can see the photos that you might want to spend a little bit more time looking at, for example. You also have live text now, which is what Apple have introduced to iOS 15, and Google have had this for quite a while, but the idea is that with your camera, you open it up, you find a bit of page that has some text on it, for example, uh, and then what you'd usually have in the bottom corner here is something that pops up, which means you can then copy and paste the text that you see in the photo, but, for whatever reason, that isn't showing up yet in the first developer beta. And like I said, these things do get added. And what can happen as well is if you go into your photos and you find a picture that you've already taken, so we'll go back to this for example, or there, what you can usually do is then find it and copy and paste the text from that photo. But that's something that hasn't been updated properly to work in this first developer beta, but it is coming and that is something that is really good. So you could just scan some handwriting if you've written down a note and then that means that you can copy that straight into a text or straight into an email or put it in your notes if it's something that you wanna remember later. Notifications have been redesigned a little bit as well. So this now includes a feature that kind of collects users' notifications into almost like a custom summary of apps so what it'll do is it'll use the machine learning on your phone to realize what apps and what notifications are important to you and then it'll kind of put them in a priority order so notifications from people for example will always come through first whereas on here you can see that the do not disturb thing and from notifications from apps that you might not use as much will not take priority, so they will be bundled together into this. The weather app has had a little bit more of an upgrade as well, and now if you click on this, apparently, it has a lot more animations, like 3D animations for everything. You can see it looks a little bit different here. And if you ever use the weather app Dark Sky, I think it was called, I feel like that Apple have really taken inspiration from Dark Sky because they acquired it a couple of years ago. But it's got some new little 
animations at the bottom here and it shows you things a little bit easier so it makes just going through this weather app just look a little bit nicer so apparently when it starts to rain and things you can see Verona there it looks like a different background what else have we got that's down here as well Verona and Venice for whatever reason is on there as well but it looks really nice now and is a little bit more easily readable if that's a phrase to go with but the weather app has been updated and that looks really nice as well and then one of my favorite things that is in iOS 15 is that now if you lose your AirPods Pro which I do all the time you can finally actually find them rather than just having a look and guessing where they might have been last time so you can use the new find my app and that will help you find your AirPods Pro a little bit easier like I said this is just a first little look at what is going on with the iOS new developer beta so not a deep dive look and I'm sure there's loads that I've missed and I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments as well but if you want to download iOS 15 beta 1 then just be careful remember you can find links on Twitter you can get it through the developer program which is the best way to do it don't just trust a random link on Twitter so do have a look do make sure that you're doing it properly and do not put it on your main device don't do it that would be stupid don't do that but if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel and of course I'll have a little see and see if I can do a bit of a deeper dive into iOS 15 in the next couple of days but if you subscribe to the channel then see you later